Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Pasco County, Florida with the cammed up caveman as he tries to audit a tax collector's office. And he winds up getting trespassed. Gee, I wonder why they would do that. Could it be that there's sensitive information in there that they don't want to get out? Ah, that couldn't be it. No, they're hiding something from you, aren't they? Oh yes, it's just one giant conspiracy against you First Amendment auditors to hide all that juicy information from you, isn't it? Well, it's not really a conspiracy, but it's what they think. So now, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Now, this video is quite long, so I'm going to have to skip a lot of parts, but basically he's asked to leave several times, and he refuses to leave, and the police are called, and they show up a little bit later on. So let's go ahead and skip to that part. But first, let me ask a question, dude. Why the hell are you trying to film a tax collector's office anyway, where there's a lot of sensitive information that customers don't want to get out? Especially since there's a lot of identity thieves out there that would just love to get their hands on that kind of information. 3,000 years later. Alright, your name? My name? Yes. My name's Deputy Crawford. Badge number? 6843. Okay. Okay? So, do you understand that you can't videotape and record and everything inside the tax collector's office? No. Anywhere a, a individual is allowed in public, a public publicly accessible area, they're allowed to record also. Okay. Uh, no, uh, absolutely not. Especially in Florida, considering Florida is a two-party consent state, and uh, you might be recording sensitive information that gets passed along between people. So, uh, yeah, no way. And I'm sure the patrons of that uh, tax collector's office or any other tax collector's office would uh, definitely have something to say about you recording their transactions in those places because, as I said, sensitive information that they don't want to get in the hands of identity thieves. We all know how that would turn out. But they have a new policy that... But policy doesn't not. trump the law. Okay, policy doesn't trump law. Okay, then, uh, did you ever hear of the Tenth Amendment, which gives the states the right to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution? And audio recording is not exactly covered in the Constitution. Thus, a number of states have created the two-party consent law to protect Protect information like that. So their policy is supported by the law at this point. So your argument is pretty much moot. It does not prevent you from video in any way. You just put some parameters in there that you will be able to request the, the time and option of whenever you want to come in video and you'll be able to accommodate that. But, but I don't have to ask for permission to record. Our business, you know, many people come in our offices every single day. It's very difficult for us to allow that without the compromising of their personal information. And so we can, you know, we can accommodate you, sir, or we can go ahead and issue the trespass warning today and I can have you trespass from the from our establishments. So you're going to issue me a trespass warning? That is correct. For sir. what? For violating the policy we have in place, which therefore then violates the Driver Privacy and Protection Act. Oh boy, cammed up caveman, you keep on saying that policy doesn't trump law, but here it is in black and white that they actually have laws covering that. So you know what? Yeah, policy in your case doesn't trump law because the law supports their policy. So you know what the uh, frauditors say to everybody? Go 
kick rocks. Um, you're gonna uh, trespass me for a recording? Is that what you're saying? No, sir. We're, viol we're trespassing you for violating federal law. Federal law? Yes, sir. What's it's the right statute? Uh, it's right on the door, sir. I don't know it off of. You're expecting way too much from this guy. You expect him to actually go over there and read the statute? I mean, the man could barely read to begin with. Otherwise, he would have found this statute uh, fairly quickly, especially since the man right here gave it to you right off the bat. Gave you the name of the act. You could have found it in two minutes, and you've been like, Oh, okay, uh, so there is a law for that. But hey, I don't expect uh, too much out of Cam up Caveman anyway, especially in the way of basic research methodology. Doesn't have anything to do with recording in, in the public buildings. So regardless of that statute, he's wanting you trespass. So as of right. But now, I haven't committed a crime. I haven't done anything so wrong. Have I haven't caused a crime. disturbance. Wrong on all parts, Cammed Up Caveman. There are laws that cover this kind of thing, and you have violated them, and they are federal laws, and they do protect people's information from people like you. You don't have to commit a crime for you to be trespassed, okay? So it can be, um, just because why? Just because. Just because. Yes. It doesn't have to be a reason. No. Are you aware who I am? No, sir. Okay, this is going on YouTube, and a lot of people will be aware of what you just said. Okay. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Now, um, are, are you, what are you doing about the trespass? Are you going to write that out in writing? So our trespass warnings are on the computer. You can get a copy of it from our records. I would like it in writing. You can print one out. You have a printer in your vehicle, correct? I, I do not. My printer does not work. Okay, well... I'd like it in writing. So he can give you this. He can have this. Okay. I can make so a this, copy of that. This right? That that, yeah, that's fine. So this. So is that a trespassing warning? For, from them, yes. Ours will be in the computer. If you want a copy of it, you, I can give you a business card, and you can contact records and get a copy of it. Okay. And what 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 is your ID number? I don't have an ID number, sir. So you just go by Timothy. Kouet. How do you pronounce that? I'm the chief deputy Cal tax collector. Kuwait. Okay. I'm going to go run a copy of this for you, sir. Well, now you would think it would be over at this point that the fraudster would just walk away, satisfied in the fact that he got trespassed and that he's going to get clicks and views for it. But no, he's going to stand there and argue for another 15 to 20 minutes. But I am not going to subject you to all that. I am just going to give you a small sampling of how stupid his arguments are. I mean, it's already stupid enough as it is. I mean, I pointed out all the flaws in his logic throughout this video already. But still, it's fun to watch how stupid some of these guys are. So let's go to that. What's your first name, sir? I don't have to give you any of that information. I haven't committed a crime. So right now, you're, you're, you're being trespassed, okay? You're being trespassed by him from this establishment, right? So... Right now, you do need to provide me with your identification so I can give you that trespass. I'm, I'm confused as to what you're trying to say. I don't have to ID to you if I haven't committed a crime. Right. If you do not provide me with your ID, you will. I will what? Commit a crime. What you crime is that? Your trespass after warning. I can't give you a trespass warning without your name. I don't understand what you just said. I'm trespassed with... So, this establishment, okay. this business, has trespassed you. Okay. Just I, now, right? Yes. Okay. I need to issue you a trespass warning. Okay. Okay. And to do that, I need your name. It's like his brain is caught in a repeating loop. I didn't commit a crime, so you can't trespass me. If I didn't uh, commit a crime, then you can't have my name. It's over and over and again. It's just the way these frauditors are. Just the same circular reasoning every single time. No, you don't. I do. I'm not giving you my ID. I don't have to ID to you. I haven't committed a crime. You've, okay. already, oh, you've so already by, violated my First Amendment right. So Would you like to violate my 4th and 14th? By standing here and not giving me your name so I can give you a trespass warning. You're, 
Did you drive here? You're being trespassed by these guys, okay? You understand that? Can I get an event number? Yes, I will give you an event number. But do you understand that you're being trespassed and if you were to... I understand what you're doing and I understand that it's illegal, yes. Okay. Would you get me an event number? Okay, this is my card. That's the event number, okay? And this trespass, which part of this area does that cover? So that covers the Pasco County Tax Collector's Office, the building, the parking lot. Sorry, officer, but you're talking to the cammed up caveman. He doesn't comprehend anything very well. I mean, you can tell him he's trespassed, but he doesn't know what that means. I mean, that's blatantly obvious from the way he talks. That he's not a bright man. So what if I park over here to, attend, uh, uh, to go in this building? This other government building. Let me just verify with him that that's not owned by the tax collector's office as well, okay? It shouldn't be. It should be a utilities building. It's actually a government center, but okay. Do I need to wait here for you to do that? I can come over there and let you know. If you I'll, I'll, go, the I'll go over here. I'll if stand you, right over so here. If you want to go to the sidewalk, the sidewalk is... There is no sidewalk. Me. So there's a sidewalk over here. But my car's in the parking lot. I'm waiting for you to, to go get this guy and ask him so that I know before I leave. He's just getting a car for me. He's coming back out, okay? Well, no, I'm just going to leave it here, everybody, because he'll go through this same circular argument for the next 12 to 15 minutes. So there's no reason for me to show it all. Because we get the point that the cammed up caveman is not a very bright individual. I mean, he doesn't bother to look up the laws. He doesn't bother to uh, do any research at all. I mean, there's just no intelligence in this man whatsoever. So at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.